everyone welcome back to my channel today i thought i would film my capsule wardrobe essential i feel like 2024 is a year of having wardrobe staples that stand the test of time that we can wear season upon season so here are some of my wardrobe non-negotiables i hope you enjoy it should come no shock to you that my first wardrobe staple is a good hoodie. I am obsessed with Sisters and Seekers hoodies. White Fox hoodies are really good quality as well and Abercrombie but Sisters and Seekers is just has a special place in my heart. These are two of my faves, this black one I'm obsessed with and also this more neutral one. I love that the print is like the same color. I'm gonna style this up, you can wear this with jeans or leggings. I'm gonna put my leggings on because they are definitely another wardrobe essential that you need in your closet. Here is the hoodie on with my favorite leggings ever. I feel like you can't really see that well so maybe I will put a little picture of me wearing them here but they're just the best leggings ever. These are called Second Skin, they're called Second Skin for a reason, they are literally perfect. I have tried to tilt you down a little bit so you can see better. They are just the best leggings ever. I have a couple of pairs because I just cannot live without these. They're petite friendly, they're second skin, they fit like butter, they're just the best ever. I could not live without these and obviously it looks so cute with hoodie and leggings but they also come in matching sets. I absolutely love seamless sets. The Another Version ones are hands down the best, they're completely not see-through, they're gym proof, they're so soft and so gorge. I've got, I've got a khaki, a neutral brown, like a bone colour and obviously the black and they all have matching tees. So let's try them on and you can see for yourself how perfect they are. This is how the black set looks, it's just so figure hugging, I absolutely love this so much. If you're going to buy anything, let it be these leggings and these basic tops, you cannot go wrong with basics. In your capsule wardrobe. Here is the set in the colour Bone. I am obsessed with this colour. I feel like it's so nice and it's so hard to find leggings that are not see-through. These are chef's kits. This one is in the colour Mink. This is definitely one of my favourites after the black. Just chef's kiss. You need these in your wardrobe. And this is the khaki one. Obsessed. The beauty of basics is you can really style them up with nice jackets. My favourite at the moment are trench coats. So here are some of my faves. This one is Bershka and how does that outfit just look instantly better? I literally have joggers and a basic black top. I feel like the coat just makes it. Obviously you can jazz this up with jeans which we'll be talking about in a min. I also have a neutral one. Probably wouldn't wear it with these joggers. Probably wear my black leggings or some black jeans or something but you get the jam. This is also Bershka. And finally I have this grey one. This is actually from Primark. But I am obsessed. Just a really good way of elevating basics. Just having those nice staple jackets in your wardrobe. And I know I will wear these season upon season. I'm obsessed. Whilst we're on the topic of basics, a good basic black top and some joggers. These are both from Sisters and Seekers. And I could just not live without this top. I love the thumb holes as well. I feel like it makes it look that little bit more sporty. And these joggers... I'm obsessed, but some of my favourite basics are from Adenola. This grey one is Adenola. I have this black one from Skims. I haven't actually tried this yet, so this is going to be like a first impressions. And I'm obsessed with a slash neck. So I have this cream slash neck top, and I also have a black one. And this is Zara. The cream one is ASOS. I feel like long sleeve tops are so important. This one is Adenola. I'm obsessed with it. I kind of do wish it had thumb holes, like the Sisters and Seekers one. It's so fitting, so soft. I just feel like this is going to stand the test of time and the washing machine, which is very important to me. Here is the Skims one. This is a first impression because I've never tried this on before and I am obsessed. Oh my god, I need this in every colour immediately. It's very comparable to the grey Adenola, so if you can get your hands on that and if it's more affordable, I feel like maybe they're very similar in price, but... Oh my god, I'm obsessed. This is such a gorge basic. And this is the cream slash neck on. I'm obsessed with this. I love it so much and I feel like you could definitely style this up a little bit. I feel like you could put leather trousers on and this could be like a night out outfit. Or equally you could just wear this with jeans. I feel like it is a slightly more dressy top. But that brings me to my next wardrobe essential. You really need a good pair of trousers and jeans that you can rely on, that you can go to. And being a petite girl it's really really hard to find. But I have some really good ones, so let's try them on with this top. These are my leather trousers. These are H&M. This looks so good. I could see myself going for like a date night, a meal, wearing this. And the good thing about these is you can casual them down as well. You could equally wear these trousers just with trainers and... 
they're just the best ever you need these like i said i feel like jeans are hard to come by these are my faves i have a lighter blue denim color these are from zara they have like a frayed hem on the waistband which i love i have a darker denim these are from pull and bear i love these so much these are new and i've been in the market for a darker denim jean for ages these chef's kiss and my gray pair these are bershka i love these so much these are the best jeans ever these are the darker denim jeans i am obsessed with these like i said i've been in the market for these for a long time and i just feel like they look so good they are slightly long but with a chunky trainer a chunky hug maybe even a boot we're gonna be good to go a darker denim jean i feel like we're gonna see a lot more of in 2024 so i wanted to pick myself a pair up my grey ones are slightly more low waist, which I don't love, I'm not going to lie, but these are probably one of my fave jeans for the colour. I absolutely love this light grey colour. They fit really nicely, um, just the length is slightly long, but story of my life. And finally, these are my lighter denim jeans. These are from Zara, these are unreal, they are very long again, but they have a raw hem, which is my favourite kind of hem, because you can trim them if you need to. Um, I just embrace the length, I feel like I just wear a chunky chain, a chunky ug, and I kind of get away with it, especially on a dry day. I wore these a lot in Dubai, because I could literally just drag them across the floor and it really didn't matter. Um, but yeah, a staple nonetheless. And yeah, they are my capsule wardrobe essentials. Things that I couldn't live without. There's definitely other things, so if you do want a part two, let me know. And yeah, let us all be the best dressed queens in 2024. I'll leave all the links down below in the description, and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye, guys.